Every time I feel good, I think it'll last forever. But it doesn't. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome back explorers and I am back after like what six, five, six months but you know what the kind of year we've had I think it's understandable. Welcome to Rome, this is going to be an audio and visual experience so buckle up, let's go. This is place of political. Yeah. Uh, is a, is a, now when you look, is a, a show. Uh, oh, every angle, okay. every corner is a show. Okay. You know this? Have a, no, uh, if I have a look and picture. Okay. Um, five minutes with the car and after going the traffic. Look. Look. It's a show. This is a, look at this. Look at this. This is the camminamento, the, the separation in terre, all this. The inside, the the, the there of the uh, pillars. Roman, excuse me, there are the, the Roman, um, Roman organization time. of the space inside the colonnade with the with the tetto. The roof. Roof. Yes. Roof, and this is a, only down the roof. This is a, a one one yeah. corp. Okay, with that oh, big yeah. roof yes. for all pyramid to all the perimetral rest all perimetral is rest. Rest. Mm -hmm. with the roof of uh, Roman construction mm -hmm. you are tired so I'm so tired oh, hey. you are very tired very very tired sorry you are the end of tired. the show yes. of this thing how do you why are you not tired why because uh, I'm emotion Uh, if you uh, return tomorrow, Fontana di Trevi is uh, five minutes. No, it's fine. But uh, it's uh, nice. I'm tired, but what can I do? I have yes, to I'm tired. Yes. You know, it's not. It's fine. But what you want to go to sleep now, go to sleep. What you want to uh, picture in Fontana di Trevi? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I was tired, very, very tired. We arrived in Rome at 3 in the morning on a Saturday morning after going to a birthday party, which you will have seen in the previous Italy, well, Italiano, Italy <laughs> episode. It was really amazing, but obviously left me super tired. I am really grateful that I arrived at 3 in the morning because, as you can see, I got to experience Fontana, Fontana de Trevi 
um, very very early which is quite a rare sight usually it's super super packed with tourists I do check it out later with the tourists um, but this is quite a nice first encounter and I'd actually recommend it to vloggers to <laughs> arrive at these tourist attractions maybe not at 3 in the morning but perhaps like 5 6 I was of course having the time of my life but at this point my eyelashes were hanging on by a thread but it's understandable I mean Munich Strasbourg, Paris, Salerno, and now we're in Rome. You distribute yours? Yes, because uh, I distribute uh, very, very, very... Step As you step. may remember, when I was in Paris, I tried to find a hair salon to sort of like get my hair sorted, but also to get my eyelashes sorted. I was highly unsuccessful and I ended up at a cocktail bar instead. <laughs> but yeah, just like I said, this will be an audio experience. So you'll be hearing lots of conversation, lots of sounds to take you on a journey of what it feels like or rather what it sounds like to be in Rome. Okay, okay, okay. You want to go in the, in the step, Piazza di Spagna? Okay, come with you. I really should have said no to going to the Piazza di Spagna, the Spanish steps, because they were packed. Ready. What's there this? What's there this? What's there this? Because it's a universe of uh, beautiful situation. Did you hear that? The universe of a beautiful situation. Speaking about beautiful situations, here's an artist doing his thing on the side of the road. I honestly would not rate him as highly as I rated in Fidelix in Berlin, but I absolutely love the fact that in Rome, everybody's got a chance to just express themselves and show their art. I think that inspired me a lot more than I thought initially and I was able to sort of like fuel that inspiration and sort of channel into the work that I've been doing. We have a water crisis in Cape Town and these guys have water fountains here. Just wow. I was obviously surprised by the neglect but it's not everywhere. If you uh, return tomorrow, Fontana di Clare is uh, five minutes. But, uh, he's, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, that was my tour guide, Jack, as you guys have seen him before. And those pictures are of me trying to get a picture alone at the Piazza de España, aka the Spanish Steps, one of the most sought after tourist attractions in the area. And I had to take the pictures on the side just to avoid tourists. Mm, okay, I see. Near. Ah, I see. And ladies and gentlemen, you are currently listening to Maya. Life is a lie, and it's produced by Jazz. That's J H A S. Watch out for DJ Cindy coming in the next few months. <laughs> I've just found the biggest lunch store ever. I can like just die right now. Like they have everything and more. Like they have a whole section for bath bombs all the way over there in the entrance. It's just so beautiful. But Where are you from? South Africa. South Africa, okay. Okay, perfect. I have never been such an energetic Lush store to this day. I don't know if they just had an activation or if they're just usually like this But this lady was insisting on showing everybody how a bath bomb works <sighs> I don't know. I have nothing to say about this, but I love her enthusiasm. So I thought to add this in there She literally made everybody count down for the bath bomb. I love that. I feel like I should be doing that every time I put a bath bomb in the bath to be honest, I also just love the way Italian people speak. They're so animated. They kind of remind me, like I've said before, like the Nigerian Europeans. Three, two, one, go! Okay! 
If that doesn't make you feel like you're back in primary school, then I I don't know. And we have to put the hands inside to feel the softness of She even made us all put our hands inside. It's really no wonder why Italy had such horrible cases with COVID in the beginning. I mean, it's also no wonder that I've also already caught the vid because I was the first person to get my hands in there. At least we've got our hands in soap though, right? But with my eyes now open to the new normal, I really can't see this lack of social distancing as like safe or fun. This one is a similar scent, but it's not the same. Yeah, it's similar. I see. What is inside here? White? Um, let me check the label because I don't really remember. Sorry. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Also interesting to note that a lot of people that work at Lush always almost have very interesting tattoos. And also, how cool is it that they have like headphones and music that you can listen to whilst you're there? Well, I don't know about now, but... That was a really cool Lush store. Moving right along, I really wish I could explain this. But again, like I said, it seems that artistic expression here is quite an important theme. And interestingly enough, on this night I posted something on my Instagram and my friend in South Africa said her friend, who also happens to be at the same time, posted this too. That was cool. It's literally something for everyone, you know, you have a location or destination in mind when you're roaming around in the streets of Rome, but then, you know, you'll find a person playing classical music and someone playing rock and someone just like chilling at a really cool bar, much like this bar. <laughs> Oh my god, if there's anything I miss, it's the annoyingness of bumping into strangers in a very, very crowded place, feeling lost and fully immersed in a place. Finding random bathrooms, like how beautiful is this? Like that a bathroom so like authentic and uh, modern is built around a place that's been around for years. All I can say is people in Rome are so interesting and I got a really cool opportunity to hang out with some of them and they really know how to go out. And they also go for dinner. This is supposed to be a dinner meeting, but you first go to like three bars before dinner. I'm just like, make it make sense. Okay. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Also, when do you guys sleep? When do people in Rome go to sleep? I mean, outside of lockdown. Pardon? Photo. You want me to take a photo? Thank you. Sure. <laughs> I would also describe people in Rome, or the ones I've encountered, as very, very open-minded, not afraid to ask, just very conversational. Much like my trip in Barcelona, we then headed to dinner. This is the only place I remember in terms of name, but it's... It's a nice venue. Yeah. Oh my god. I could not believe they had a naked piano, and the red lights against this piano were just everything. I was so impressed. So beautiful. Is that the name of the place, Chicken? See, I had to make sure I remember the name of this place. I really wish I remembered the other places. The recordings don't do it justice. This is very exclusive place. I see. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I am really going to produce my own music because I'm really passionate about music. So please comment below what you think my DJ name should be. This is just the bathroom which is actually connected to the DJ booth, which is kind of strange, but I'm not complaining. I was really impressed with the playing music I recognized, but we were also just here for a friend's birthday dinner celebration, so that was really cool. If you think trigonometry exams are hard, try reading a menu in Italian after a few drinks. Hmm. One thing I love about Italy, love and hate actually, is their love and passion for food. It's the only place where you can get decent food in Europe, according to me. Domenica is Sunday, which is uh, the day of uh, the Saviour. I believe so yeah it was interesting to see the time and to see how far we had gone through this I arrived in Italy at 3 in the morning and this is a journey from 3 a.m. to 3 a.m. Saturday to Sunday 
No, but really, I hadn't seen how fast the time had gone by until I checked my time, like, and it was half past one, which is why I actually took a screen recording of that. The guy that just put a party party face, that was his party. And the two girls were basically my translators because they spoke better English than Jack. And that was really, really helpful. If you've heard our conversations, you know that came in handy. And this is me breaking it down with a girl I met obviously on the day, as one does. One thing about me, I will always dance. Yeah, I tried to keep this pretty casual and as short as I could. Thank you for watching. This is day one of my weekend in Rome. So there's two more days, although it will be on a Monday. Just going back to the south of Italy. So stay tuned and I will see you soon. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe.